Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to draw a right triangle to simplify an expression that involves an inverse trig function. And the expression is sine of inverse cosine of x over 2. And the important thing to remember is that when you're taking the sine of something, you're taking the sine of an angle. So I'm going to call that angle theta. So the argument, the entire argument, inverse cosine of x over 2, is some angle. And we're looking for what is sine of that angle theta. Well, if theta is the inverse cosine of x over 2, then that means that cosine of theta is x over 2. These two statements are equivalent. And cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So in our right triangle that I've drawn, we are going to pick one of these angles to be theta. And then based on that, the side adjacent to theta would have to have the measure x. And the hypotenuse would measure length 2. Now, in order to find the sine, we need the opposite over the adjacent. And we're still missing the opposite side here. But of course, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find it. Uh, let's call this side a. We know that a squared plus x squared equals 2 squared. So that means that a squared is equal to 2 squared minus x squared or 4 minus x squared. And that means that a must be plus or minus the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now if we're assuming that um, theta is in a right triangle, that would mean theta is between 0 and 90 degrees. It's an acute angle, and its cosine and sine would be positive. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to make the assumption that this is a positive square root. Depends on the context, really, um, when you're working in um, more complicated problems, you'll have to pay attention to the domain to figure out what sign you're actually working with. But in this case, they're just telling us to work within the realm of a right triangle, so we'll think of it that way. And then we're going to have the sine of theta, then, is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse which is going to be a square root of 4 minus x squared over 2. And you're done. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That helps other students to find the video.